His father is dead after police say he held his own family hostage. KPX 5's Netta Irampour on the domestic violence call that ended in a deadly police standoff. More than 12 hours after the initial shots were fired, several officers are still out here. They also have Salmon Street blocked off still because this was an officer involved shooting and hostage situation. So there's a lot they need to piece together. Just before 3 a.m., officers heard a shot fired. They say they had no choice but to enter the home on Salmon Street in Russian Hill. The tactical team made entry to the apartment out of concern for the safety of the hostages. San Francisco police say a man was holding his wife and two kids, ages 5 and 11, hostage. It was a family with uh, two kids, and he was holding his wife and two kids hostage, I heard. It's horrible. Laura David doesn't know the family, but she lives directly across the alley from them. I couldn't get into my house all last night. Oh, where so. do you live? How close are you? I live right there. Okay. <laughs> it's right next to it. Initially, calls came into SFPD about domestic violence with a weapon. When officers arrived late Saturday night, they heard yelling, and about 15 minutes later, one shot was fired from inside. The negotiation team stepped in, but they say the man wouldn't let his wife and kids go. After about three hours of talking to officers, he refused to continue negotiating. Then police heard that one blast that led them to go in and fire back. None of the victims were shot. But the subject did fire a gun twice inside his apartment. The man was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. That's crazy. Yeah, like when I came here last night, I saw all the police cars and I was just wondering, like, how, you know, what even happened because it's usually just so quiet and peaceful. So, okay. really surprising. It's very safe. I've lived here for eight years. This neighborhood with beautiful bay views now tainted with crime tape, and police have to piece together the violence. Uh, it's a very uh, complicated, intricate crime scene. One positive note, the wife and two kids were rescued and they were checked out by paramedics on the scene. Now this case is all in the hands of the San Francisco PD's homicide unit, internal affairs, the medical examiner's office, the DA's office, and the Department of Police Accountability. In San Francisco, Nettie Rompour, KPIX 5.